The conditional formatting feature allows you to apply a format to a text box based upon a condition that you set. And in this example, I want to be able to apply the format color, like let's do red, to any price that's less than or equal to $25. So it's a flag to the front end user, a reminder that we need to add shipping charges to those purchases that again, $25 or less. So to do that, let's go ahead and right click in a blank area, go to the design view, and you can see this rectangle here is a form. So we've got a subform here, a form within a form, and we want to select the price each field, so click on it. And because it's in a subform, it first selects the subform and then click on it again, and you're able to select the price each field. Then come up here and click on the format tab, go to the control formatting group, and click on conditional formatting. And show formatting rules for price, and there's the other fields within that subform. Let's do price and click on new rule. And then down below, the field value is, well, it's not between, it's got to be less than or equal to, and we'll type in 25, and if it meets that condition, let's set some formats, make it bold, and well, let's do the format color, maybe something purple, oh, if that's black text, we better go white to make it pop and not blend so furiously there, and let's do white, there we go, okay, and then click okie dokie, click okay, let's take it for a test drive, right click on the tab, go to the form view, and hey, is that less than or equal to $25? It's a flag, okay, shipping charges, Let's go ahead and go to the next record. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Oh, there it is again. Great. Now, in addition to that, if you want to flag the entire record, I can show you how you can write an expression that says, okay, go ahead and take a look at this field, and if it's less than or equal to $25, then apply the same formatting to this field, or if you can remember the formatting, go ahead and choose that and apply it to here and also there. I'll just do it to the product because once you learn how to do it to that, you can do it to the other fields. It's the same pattern. So let's go ahead and right click in a blank area, go to the design view, and let's click on it once, click on it again to choose the product, and then come back up here, click on the format tab, and then click on conditional formatting, and click on new rule. Now the field value is, well, there's no value or numbers in this field, so that can't work. Instead, we're going to write an expression that says go out and take a look at the other field. So let's click in here, control V as in Victor to paste it and let me break it down. So because we're not basing this upon the current field but another field, we have to tell Access to search the objects. And what are the objects we're looking for? Well, it's a form. Then we got the operator, exclamation point, that says, okay, after you look in the object forms, then within that, we're looking for the categories form. Then we separate that by an exclamation point. And then within that form is a subform. And then within the subform is the price each field that has to be less than or equal to 25. If it meets that condition, well, if you can remember the formats, it was bold, I got that. And then, well, you can make it different if you don't want it to be the same. Make it something a little bit lighter. And click on the drop down arrow. Maybe we'll do red this time. That's too much. How about if we do white? Something more subtle. In any case, it's your flavor. You choose what works best for you. Let's click okie dokie. Click OK again. And then right click on the tab and go to the form view. And there you go. So if I chose the same colors, it would be formatted, well, not entirely across all fields, but you can apply the same expression to the product ID field that looks at the price. And if it's greater than or less than $25, then format that as well. And let's go ahead and go backwards. And it's there too. And then if you're done, you want to get rid of it. Well, just go ahead and right click in a blank area, go to the design view. And let's go back into our subform here and choose one of the fields. Come back up, click on the Format tab, Conditional Formatting. And there's for the price. We can delete that rule. And let's go ahead and flip that because we also have the product. And it says, okay, switching fields will lose rule changes that have not been applied. Like when we're deleting it because I didn't apply it. Well, let's go ahead and continue and apply the changes and delete this one as well and click OK. And then right click on the tab, go to the form view and we're back to where we started. We're colorless. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.